What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video on my channel Scotrix and today as you can see we are back on NBA 2K25 current gen for another build guide video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to build the best post scorer build in NBA 2K25 current gen. This build has obviously very very good interior finishing, it also has decent mid range shooting, great defense, decent playmaking and great physicals as well so it's a very very good all around post scorer build and let's get into it here. First off the position, if you want to be a center, height or uh, nothing else here matters, you can set this up however you want and then just go ahead and click continue as long as you have the position on center now onto the height right here you can put this up to seven foot three the weight can go up a few pounds to 268 right there and the wingspan can go up to max which is eight foot one so that's very very good for a post scorer build for the body shape you can choose whichever one you like the look of the most i think maybe like built or something is the best for a post scorer build but you can choose whichever one you like the look of the most it only changes how your build looks it won't change how it plays at all so just choose the one that you like the most and go ahead and click continue now on to the actual right here first off for the close shot obviously very important for a post scorer build you can put this up to a 92 right here driving layup can go up to a 30 so it's really more of a back to the basket rather than a slashing build driving dunk can go up to a 43 standing dunk can go up to an 83 which will give you big man uh, contact dunks so that's good and then your post control can go up to an 88 right here and that will give you 22 finishing badges and as you can see you have a ton of badges onto gold hall of fame some onto silver or bronze but most of the good ones get up to gold or hall of fame so that's very very good for a build like this you'll have no problem scoring inside with your back to the basket but now on to the shooting here you can max out your mid-range that's just so that you can shoot post fades or whatever you can shoot open mid-range spot up shots if you have them too you get 13 shooting badges so that's very very good for the free throw you want to put this up to about a 73 you do want some free throw since you're probably going to be getting fouled a lot as a post scorer and if you're playing in the rec or whatever you're going to be shooting a lot of free throws so a 73 should be good enough to make free throws pretty consistently but now on to the playmaking you can put your pass accuracy up to a 69 right here and that will give you eight playmaking edges up break starter is the one that's probably the most important you get that onto silver so you can throw the ball out once you get a defensive rebound out to your guards or your outlets or whatever but now the uh, ball handle this can just go up a little bit to a 45 and speed of ball can stay at a 25 you're not going to really need much of that for a build like this now onto the defense interior defense can go up to an 85 so this is a very very good defensive build as well perimeter defense can go up to a 36 not great on the perimeter obviously with seven foot three and the low speed that you're going to have you're not going to be able to play perimeter defense anyway but steel can go to a 60 so you will be able to get into those passing lanes you do get interceptor onto bronze your block can go up to an 81 and that should be really good again remember you're seven foot three with an eight foot one wingspan so you don't need like a 90 something block to be able to block a ton of shots 81 is great and you're getting a ton of defense badges for that as well and i actually decided to upgrade the offensive rebound quite a bit on this build since if you do miss shots in the post you'll have the opportunity to get ch second chance points with the offensive rebound so i put this to an 84 you should honestly be able to get offensive rebounds over big men quite often on this build and it's a very very good build to put offensive rebound on even though most builds I don't bother but for this one I did put that up to an 84 put your defense rebound to an 87 that will give you 25 defense badges and as you can see you have a lot of them available right there so that's really good and some of them like brick wall are going to go up even once we get down to the strength but once you have your defense set up like that you can go down to your physicals put your speed up to max which is only a 43 but it is what it is acceleration up to a max which is only a 35 and then your strength up to an 86 which will give brick wall onto gold like I said so that's good and you're also going to help you back down in the post or whatever strength is very important for a build like this vertical can go to a 55 you can't get it that high anyways and then stamina can go up to max which is a 92 should be good enough so once you have everything set up like this 22 finishing 13 shooting 8 play making 25 defense and great physicals you can go ahead and click continue for the takeover you have access to the uh, rim protecting glass cleaning and post takeovers so i'm going to take obviously some uh, post scoring takeovers i don't know i'll probably take power back back downs and maybe like uh, advanced post moves but you can choose whichever one you want the most whichever ones fit your play style the most choose those ones even if it's the glass cleaner or the rim protector ones it doesn't matter just choose whichever ones are best for you i'm just choosing those ones since i think that they're probably going to be the best ones for me and you're going to get compared to brad darley um ivan zubach and rudy gobert so decent comparisons right there and it's called a inside the arc glass cleaner so a pretty cool name as well but yeah that's gonna be it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you like subscribe to the channel if you're new i upload daily 2k25 content build guides all that so make sure you're sub so you don't miss any of that but that's gonna be it all right peace